Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 37 Mercari Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for that I sold on Mercari. And I don't think I have any clothing in this video. These are mostly hard goods, toys, items like that. Items that I picked up at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, different places like that. Sometimes I pick things up on Facebook Marketplace, I'm trying to get better at that. Um, these items sold faster on Mercari and they were cross posted to Poshmark and eBay. And we're going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. The first item I picked up at, I believe this was at a garage sale, and it was in a Ziploc bag with a bunch of other little vintage mice. And I was actually interested in the other mice more than this one, but. I actually looked up comps on this little guy, and I believe this is a McDonald's toy from 1987, and the comps were pretty good. So I listed this, and it sold pretty quickly for $14 and free shipping. And let me see here. I think it's dated. Uh, I don't think it actually said McDonald's on it, but from my research, this was a McDonald's like Happy Meal toy. So how cool is that? From 1987, can you imagine? The next item I sold is this Willow Tree Cherish Pregnant Figurine. I do pretty well with the Willow Tree items. This is what they look like on the bottom. And I sold this for $21 free shipping. And I can't remember if this was a garage sale or a thrift store find. But I typically will pay like a dollar for these. The next item I sold, um, I think this was in a toy box, a tote that I had in the basement from a garage sale and I was putting off listing and I finally said, I'm going to list that tote of toys that's been sitting in my basement for a year and a half and they're selling really well. But this is another Happy Meal toy. This one is from Taco Bell and it's Creature Crips Wolfman and it's a toy figure and it sold for $16 with free shipping. So if you want to see more items that are bolos that are from Happy Meals, you can check out my Happy Meal bolo category video. But in that video, I show you the ones that sell for big money, not the bread and butter. The next item I sold came out of a mystery box and it is an ERTL farm toy playset. So um, these are really, really tiny animals, very tiny. And I sold this for $48 free shipping and probably had a couple bucks in it. The next item is this vintage Boyd's cat. It's Boyd's bear cat and it's six inches. So it's just a little guy and it sold for $13 free shipping. And I want to say that came from a garage sale and I probably paid like 50 cents for it. I do not pay much for those. The next item came out of a mystery box. It's a vintage Power Rangers Lost Galaxy wildcat and i sold this for 20 dollars free shipping so probably had a buck or so in it the next item is this fridge phonics game and this was in good condition it still had the box but um it was pre-owned and i ended up selling this for 40 dollars free shipping these magnetic um you put the magnet inside the little um gosh what do you call it the little toy and it says like E and some, it has like tunes and sounds, the letter sounds. So it's educational, it's phonics and these sell really well. And I think I learned about these from dad planet. So if you guys have not checked out dad planet, definitely go over and check out his channel. I think he did a bolo video on these. The next item I sold is this squish mallow eight inch penguin plush. And some of these are going for crazy money right now. I keep seeing posts in Facebook groups. Um, this guy I picked up at a thrift store and I sold it for $20 free shipping. And I want to say I paid like a dollar for it. The next item is this little bitty Moana pig plastic toy. It's about this big. I sold this for $11 free shipping. And I think that came out of a mystery box. So this is a vintage Disney Robin Hood figure toy fox. You know what? That actually may have been in that toy box too because I think this was also. Um, 
this guy sold for $10 free shipping. So again, this is a major bread and butter item, but it sold pretty quickly. And you know, let's see, 10 bucks, Poshmark, let's say takes, it used to be 10%, but now I think it's more like 13%. So $1.30 probably cost me $3 maybe. Yeah, about three. So three, let's just say 450 worst case scenario. So I made about $5 profit on this item. Now, you're probably thinking, why would I waste my time? That's five bucks. And it probably took me 30 seconds, maybe a minute to list it. I mean, Mercari is pretty easy if you're using your phone to list an item like this. So um, I don't know. It, it's up to you. You have to figure out what works for you. But five bucks for a few minutes of my day, I'm willing to do that. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Loving Family Sofa. And I sold this for $20 free shipping. I picked this up in a big bundle of toys. So I have probably got less than a dollar in it. The next item, another willow tree. Again, I like picking up willow tree when I see it. I believe these came out of a mystery box. And I sold these for $42 with free shipping. So probably had two bucks in it, maybe three. The next item I sold is this lot of action figures, vintage to now. Okay, so I probably could have listed some of these individually, and I probably had like five or six messages saying, will you sell me this item? Will you just sell me that item? And I'm like, no. So I ended up selling this for $126, and I paid the shipping, which I think was around $10, and Mercari took their fee. But these were a bunch of items that were in that tote that I was telling you about. And I just pulled out some of the items, listed them separately. But these were the items that I lotted together and sold for $126. The next item I sold is this Hello Kitty Airblown Inflatable. You guys, if you see these, you should definitely buy them. I sell these inflatables all the time. Um, they're a hot seller. I picked this up at a thrift store. I want to say it was $7. So I did pay up a little bit for this one. And I sold it for $72 free shipping. The next item I sold came in a mystery box. Seven of these trolls. They're little trolls from the movie. These are not the vintage old trolls. These are from the trolls movie. And I sold these for $13 free shipping. Again, some of you wouldn't waste your time. I know it's not a big money maker. I probably made about eight bucks on it. but eight bucks is eight bucks. The next item I sold another bread and butter. It's a kiss car. And I think Mercari is great for bread and butter toys, but it's racing champions is the brand. And I sold this for $14 with free shipping. So I probably have less than a quarter in this. Uh, let's say Poshmark took $2 cost me three to ship it. So Let's say, worst case, I've got six bucks in it. So six. So my profit would be about $8. I mean, that's pretty good, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments, would you waste your time if you were only going to make a profit of 5 to $8? The next item, and if your answer is yes, um, I have a video. It's called, Would You Waste Your Time? Or something like that. And it's all items that I sold for $10 or less. And all of those items added up to quite a bit of money. You know, now would I want to sell those kind of items all the time? No, but a good mix in your store brings in different buyers. And I think that's great. So this vintage Spode Christmas ornament, it's from 1997. One of my um, subscribers, viewers, picked this up as a gift for somebody else. Um, and I shipped it out to them. And I appreciate your purchase. And she has purchased from me before. Um, it means so much to me when you guys make purchases from me. My links are down in the description. If you guys ever want to buy something that I have listed, please put, um, make an offer and say Bolo Buddies or BB or something like that so that I know you're um, one of my subscribers and I can definitely work with you guys. So I sold this ornament for $14 free shipping. And this came out of a mystery box. It does have the original box. It was super, super cute. The next item I sold, where did I get this? This came from a garage sale and I think I paid $5 for it, but I could not get 
Let me see if I can get, see right here, this little piece. I could not get this to go down. So here, here's a better picture. So I just disclosed it and um, now I don't know how to get back out of here. I, I forget what it sold for. Was it $85? I think it sold for $85 free shipping. But I just disclosed it and somebody ended up buying it. But um, somebody was making me an offer, I believe, on eBay. And they kept sending me lowball offers. And I countered. And then it sold on Mercari for full asking price. And I took the item off of eBay. And they're like messaging me like, hey, I want that item. Where's it at? And I'm like, I sold it for way more than you were offering me. <laughs> so that one ended up working out. This little Lotus fragrance splash came from a thrift store and I probably have 50 cents or a dollar in it. I bought a bunch of perfumes um, in a lot and I sold this for $25 free shipping. The next item, oh, and you guys have to ship perfume ground, just FYI. Uh, this Paul Patrol party supplies lot, I picked up at a garage sale. I wanna say it was like a dollar or two for everything. And this big balloon right here by itself goes for decent money. These are some tablecloths and I think this was a game. And I sold this for $24 free shipping. The next item is this vintage Boyd's Bear puppet. And it is, it, you know, an older item. It's got some wear to it. You can tell this guy was well loved. And I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold it for $50 free shipping. The next item is this Supa Splat paintball. And the person actually, tried to open a return. They were upset because it didn't shoot as far or something like they thought. They said that the box was open, but it was sealed when I shipped it. It was kind of like a buyer's remorse thing. But um, I will tell you that Mercari did side in my favor and the uh, buyer was not allowed to return the item. So, I mean, at that point they had used the item. I would have gotten it back in I wouldn't have been able to sell it as new. Um, I did sell this for $60 with free shipping and I was impressed with Mercari's customer service on this transaction. The next item I sold is this Bratz Doll Beauty Salon playset, and I sold this for $45 free shipping. This came from a garage sale. I purchased a huge lot of Bratz items. I don't remember what I paid for it all, but I'm guessing I have a couple bucks or less in this. The next item, this is kind of a funny story. So in my unboxing videos, I kept saying, I'm never having a garage sale. I'm never having a garage sale. I hate garage sales. Guess what I did? I told my husband, I'm like, let's have a garage sale this weekend. And he's like, okay. So we ended up having a garage sale and we were sitting outside and I was like, I'm going to list some of the stuff in the garage sale while we're just sitting here. So I listed these three, um, PC games, which I got from a garage sale that same summer free. It was like a free garage sale and it was a big box of um, these PC games. So these all had the Agatha Christie on them and there were three of them. And I'm like, I'm just going to lot them up. And I sold them for $20 free shipping and I shipped them media mail. So yeah, I sold something from my garage sale. The next item I sold are these Nintendo DS games. and free shipping $19. I can't remember where I got these. I want to say they were at a garage sale and I purchased them together and it's like a buck or two. The next item is this build a bear dog cat pet bed. And I sold this for $20 free shipping. And uh, that one came from a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of build a bear stuff and I bought a bunch of American girl stuff and I bundled it together for one price. And so I probably have a buck or so in this. And this was a part of that also. And I sold this lot for $37. It's got the sleeping bag, the little um, carrier, uh, the dog dish, the brush, the little phone. So it was a nice lot for $37 free shipping. This Cinderella record, it was vintage and it's really cool. It's red. How cool is that? I got this at a garage sale. I believe it was a dollar, if I remember correctly, maybe 50 cents. And I sold it for $17 free shipping. And again, this shipped media mail. The next item I sold is this Exploding Kittens Taco Cat Plush. 
And it's just a little seven inch lightweight plush item. Again, major bread and butter, $10, free shipping, uh, you know, probably made about five bucks on it, but it was pretty much free in a bundle of plush. This little candle I picked up at a thrift store. I can't remember what I paid for it. I may have paid a dollar for it, but it was vintage. And again, you may not want to waste your time with something like this, but I thought it was super cute and it sold for $11 free shipping. The next item I sold is this LCD quartz pen watch. Now I would have listed this higher if I knew if it worked or not. But what I wrote is no clue if this works might be battery corrosion. I cannot check because it is seal sealed and it's sold as is may need new ink also. I mean, I had no idea. You guys know how vintage items sit and the batteries get that like stuff. So I still sold it for $26 free shipping. If I knew that it worked, I could have gotten more, but definitely a bolo item. The next item I sold is this Build-A-Bear Angel costume. It came from a thrift store. I think I paid a couple bucks for this one and it had another outfit. And I sold this for $24 free shipping. This little, um, I think it's pronounced Quarry Kids. And this is Cindy Blue's boo-boos. And she's got a boo-boo on her knee. This is what it looks like on the bottom. Last summer, I feel like I found these at all of these garage sales I was going to. And they actually sell pretty good. Um, so if I see this brand, I pick it up. Some of them go for more than others, but they are definitely a good bread and butter item. But some of them can go for um, a decent amount. So definitely look them up. And um, if you can get it for like a buck or less, I definitely say grab them. Sold for $17 free shipping. The next item I sold is this Star Wars No Water Swirling Snow Globe. So you push the button and it has music and it, um, the snow like flutters everywhere. It's kind of crazy. Um, I picked up three or four of these at a garage sale over the summer. I think they were a dollar or $2 each. I don't recall. May have been $2 each. And I sold these for, or this one for $26 free shipping. The next item are these 23 antique photo lot and they are all pictures of children and babies. So. You can see here, really, really cool lot. This sat on eBay and actually sold quicker on Mercari. I sold this for $54 free shipping. The next item, this was a very long tail item. It definitely took the right buyer. And when it sold, I was actually kind of surprised because um, somebody just had to have put in the right keywords because it had to have been very low because it has been listed since April. And I sold this for $44 free shipping. So definitely a bolo, but it did take a while. And you can see right here, it is signed Hoffman. And the last item are these Disney Mickey Mouse dangle earrings. And I sold these for $16 free shipping. And I believe these came out of my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay lot. So there you go, 37 bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high, and these items sold faster on Mercari. Thanks for watching, and there's going to be some videos popping up here, here, and here, and a subscribe, I think right here. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Please leave me a comment down below. That does help the algorithm, and like the video, and check out another video. And thanks for watching. Have a great night. Great day. I don't know when I'm going to post this. It's night right now.